Hello everybody. Today I would like to introduce to you our business English course. Uh, first of all, I would like to talk about the benefits in which you'll be getting. First and foremost, you will be able to articulate your business ideas to foreign uh, English speakers. And the second benefit in which you'll be getting from this class is understanding what you're saying and also being able to use business jargons. Now, uh, business jargons is very, very important if you want to talk and understand, talk to and understand uh, people from other countries. Uh, the third benefit in which you'll be getting from this class is uh, speech format. Lots of people, even uh, native speakers, they have the ability to speak in English, but yet again, they fail to uh, persuade other people because they lack the format. In this class, I'll be teaching different formats in which you could be using in presentations, informal and... Why do you need this? Allow me to tell you a little about my experience. As a business consultant, I've seen lots of people, lots of businesses fail to reach their potential simply because they, uh, because of misunderstandings created while conversing. Uh, mainly because they lack the jargon, which is the special vocabulary used in this, uh, in this line of work. Uh, common mistake is also one more reason in which cause loss of understanding and cost a lot of money. I've noticed, as, as, as an English teacher who's been teaching uh, English to Thais, I've noticed many, many common mistakes, such as pay, pay to, and pay for. In Thai, you say jai hai, but in English, there are two ways to say it. I'll explain later, okay? Now, another uh, reason why you need to learn how to speak English is that this is very necessary for your career. In 2015, Thailand is going to fully open to, to AFTA, the Asian Free Trade Agreement. Now, because of this, you'll have lots of investors coming from abroad investing in Thailand. Now, those investors will be looking for people with the ability to speak and converse well in English. Today, we have lots of international schools out there, many of which are producing lots of very capable uh, new graduates. Now, if we don't start now, we might go obsolete. And because of this, me and my friends, uh, I'm working, allow me to introduce myself briefly. I'm working, uh, my full-time job is a business consultant. I'm working as a business consultant and I have lots of friends working in the same line of work. And we also teach and this is my part of my career as well. We've created courses in which are targeted especially for, for uh, Thai English learners. So I believe this course is going to be very effective for you for two main reasons. First of all, I am a bilingual. I can speak in Thai. So if you fail or you find it very difficult to explain an idea in English, you can always talk to me in Thai and I'll help you. The second thing is, as a bilingual, I understand where your mistakes are coming from and because of that, I can correct them for you. In this class, we are going to be including uh, lots of things. Basically, first of all, I will have to introduce business jargons for you. A list, a long list of it. Uh, business English and everyday English is not, although similar in many respects, it's not the same. For example, if I say outstanding, you might think de. But in English, uh, business English, it means So the meaning is different. Now, after I have created this basics for you, the knowledge of jargons, then I'll explain to you briefly the concept of team dynamic. You learn a language because you want to converse in a group and work effectively in a team. Now, with the knowledge of team dynamics, you will understand that although perhaps maybe if you go into a meeting room and you don't have great new ideas, that's one, one of the biggest fears of most people in meeting rooms. They have no good idea. I'll explain to you in this class that you don't have to have great ideas in order to be useful in the meeting room. Now, after we understand each other's team role and we know all these team, uh, 
these business jargons, I am going to put you in both formal and informal business discussion scenarios. I'm going to give you ideas, real business concepts from abroad that you've never seen before and have you discuss about it in detail. The business model, the business revenue, how they make money. Now if you were to bring it into Thailand, will there be any problems, perhaps due to differences in culture? And if there are any problems, then I'll ask you to solve it in this business discussion. After discussing in a group amongst your friends, I'm going to ask you to put the findings, uh, what you've discussed, into different speech pattern. For example, uh, uh, informative speech sequence and this is useful if you want to present your idea in front of your boss or even in school you can use this even in school informative we also have persuasive now once you have a great business idea you will have to have the ability to, to persuade investors or friends or or even your customers to believe in your idea or your product now these mind maps or these uh, speech sequences are created to affect people psychologically. I'm going to give you all of this and it's going to be very easy after you know this format to present your ideas to others. That's, that's the second uh, method in which we'll be using in our class. The third method, I always believe that the best way to learn something new is basically, first of all, to correct your own mistakes. Learn from your mistakes. Now, you, many of you will be having common mistakes, mistakes in which you've been using since the past. As I've mentioned earlier, pay to, pay for. In Thai, you use the same phrase, Jai Hai. Now, if I say I will pay for you, it means Pongjalian Kun, and this is a common mistake, for example. If I say, if I want to give money to you, I have to say Jai Ngan Kun, right? In English, I'll have to say pay you, no preposition. Now, these are mistakes that I often hear, and I will correct them for you, so you can learn from your mistakes. Now, what I've mentioned earlier are just few things in which uh, we'll be talking about and discussing in class. If you're interested, please find more information by contacting either the Lab Prow or the Secon Square Lab Prow, uh, Central Lab Prow, I'm sorry, or the Secon Square branch, iGenius. Thank you for your time.